True freshman here. Uh, this is a redshirt freshman here. He's still got probably three more years in the program. He's not going to leave early. It's like, geez, Kirby Smart. Then did you hear the leaked audio of Kirby talking to the team? Yes, that was – I'm not a big guy on uh, on pump-up speeches or inspirational speeches, but that was both of them. That was amazing. I don't want to be the one that just, like, continues to spread it, but it's on the Internet, so we should run it. It's so sweet. Should we, I mean, this thing is – I'll just run it out of my phone here directly into the goddamn uh, microphone so I can cut it off at whenever. But we've been – the way this was described on the Internet is that this is from before the national championship yes. game. Mm -hmm. So everything we just said about all the recruits and humans they have on the team, size, athletic, yep. everything like that, and seemingly composure in the big moments, because you can have size and athletes and everything, but in the big moment, like the NFL is filled with big dudes who are great. Oh, yeah. A lot of big dudes who are great don't make the NFL, though, because they can't handle whatever. Uh, the football acumen you need to have, yeah. maybe the big moment acumen, be able to handle the situation, rules, discipline, buying in. George has got it all, AJ. It seems like George has got it. Now, they're not the only ones, but George has got fucking all of it somehow. And they're going to. You listen to this pregame speech from Kirby Smart, and you're like, oh, it makes sense why he's got all, everybody kind of going in the same direction. This is allegedly Kirby Smart before the national championship. If you hear this, all of you who bet on TCU. That's right. I think you did too, AJ, didn't you? Absolutely not. You, I'm on record saying I think Georgia. Could possibly blow them out. Okay, good. Me too, by the way. So that gives a lot of legitimacy to our fucking program. But everybody else on our program and other people that had microphones are saying TCU money line. <laughs> but if we would have heard this, could you imagine hearing this? I mean, I'm, that is fucking. Oh. How could you not want to run through a wall I there? Know, I yeah. didn't know Kirby had that. I think no. a lot of us didn't know Kirby had that. I saw a video on game day that they ran for a preview, and Kirby was standing up on like a locker talking to the team before the game or something. And he said, like, I think he said these motherfuckers, but the way they edited it, it mm -hmm. just said like they or something like that. He said, they now got to see us for real or something like that. And I'm like, oh. Kirby's like dog, uh -huh. you know? And then you hear that speech right there, AJ. I'm ready to run through a wall for that guy. I don't know. 65 7, it seems like that should have been maybe 80 mm. to 90 yeah. to 7, AJ Hawk. Well, don't you think the a big reason we respond well? Like, it feels very authentic and real and in the moment. Kirby didn't sit there beforehand and be like, hey, what should I hit in my pregame like, inspirational <laughs> talk? Like, he just, he was excited. He was obviously pissed off at different things that have happened. Also, yeah. he said, all, all the guys went through this past week. They were probably banging this week leading up to the national championship. You know, like, Kirby seems like he is not scared to coach his guys hard and to be disciplined and Will Muschamp, everything they have going there. I don't know, man. They they are an absolute freight train on their way. You got to remember Kirby, former player. Yeah. So sometimes former players are a little bit of uh, like docile, like want to keep everything relaxed. I yeah. like everything going. He was a safety. He's on defense side of the ball. So he's like – Headhunting out yeah. too. Hey, let's hey, let's fucking go. I love if you can get everybody to buy into that belief, because that's all you're trying to do as a coach. Now there's different ways to go about it, and I'm sure people are gonna hear his language and they're gonna be offended. Mm, of course. I mean, they're gonna be yeah. offended by his language. Mm -hmm. I hate to break it to you. That's how every human in the NFL speaks. So whenever you hear or at high level football speaks, so when you hear some people that don't speak like that, your radar should go up, maybe. Mm -hmm. Instead of the opposite way. Your radar should maybe go up and be like, why is that? Oh, this is a super good human. Okay, they're always like this. Or, oh, this person's guarded, filtered, not saying their actual real thoughts, which is not well-received normally in the football world. Kirk, Kirby's a fucking dog oh, out yeah. there, dog. Yeah, it was unbelievable listening to that and then also just watching him on the sidelines still coaching when, you know, it's the fourth quarter and they're killing him. But also what they went through this week, was it just – 
TCU, people thinking that they could actually hang with Georgia, and Georgia just having to sit and stew on that all week because seventy percent of the money was on TCU. Exactly. Yeah. Like it feels like a lot of people are like, "Hey, TCU can do this," and I assume Georgia saw all that. I assume Kirby told them all that. That's what people were saying. And then they basically said, oh, "Okay, you're going to disrespect us. We'll just go out and win sixty-five to seven and pull all of our starters with twelve minutes left." <laughs>